Hey everyone, and welcome back. Sorry about the long wait for this video. We've had a lot of things going on in the studio. Today we're going to be checking out She's Electric by Oasis. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start off with a nice simple introduction then. We're going to start off an F sharp major chord and we're going to do a lot of downstrokes with the occasional upstroke in there and that's just going to sound like this. We're then going to do an upstroke and downstroke going on an F and then the same thing going down to an E as well and that just sounds like this. transition down leads us into the main progression where we're going to be featuring an E major, an A flat major, C sharp minor and an A major. And to start with we're going to keep the chords nice and open and we're just going to keep it sort of like this. And after that, we're going to do a turnaround of C major to D into E. And in sort of musical terms, you'd call that a flat six, flat seven. Um, it's a bit of a classic Beatles technique to do. Anyway, it sounds like this. To the verse we're going to be using the same progression only we're just going to start to change some of the dynamics and what I mean by that is rather than keep it nice and open we're going to start to change it up so we're going to be sort of keeping the chords nice and choppy squeezing the chords on and off almost sort of jazzy really and it's going to sound like this We're now going to talk about the lead guitar for the introduction and there's just a couple different guitar parts we can play here. The first one's going to sound like this. It's just a simple repeating line. We're going with the second and fourth frets barring the B and E strings there. We're going to start by hammering on from the second fret of the B to the fourth fret and then second fret of the E and just rinse and repeat it. The other guitar part we could play is just going to be on our pegged F sharp chord. I'm going to leave an open B and open E string in there as well, and that just sounds like this. And 
you can see there, I'm just strumming down the chord. And then I'm going to go open E, open B, open E, open B. In the initial stages of the song, you're also going to hear this lead guitar line get played quite often. And that's just going to be between the second and fourth frets at the A and D strings. We're going to start by playing the second fret of the A twice. The first note is going to be a lead in to the riff. And then we're going to play the 4th fret of the A, 2nd fret of the D, back down to the 4th fret of the A, and 2nd fret there. And we're just going to play that round a few times, and then we're going to do a turnaround, which is going to go to the 5th fret of the D, 4th fret, and then 2nd fret. I've seen a few variations of this and also We're now going to check out the lead guitar in the first verse and it's going to start off by simply playing that riff that we've already done. Second fret of the A into fourth, second fret of the D and then back again. We're then going to play an interesting line, we're going to do this. And that's going to be a double stop and we're going to play that up at the 12th and 13th frets there, the G and B. We're then going to take that down two frets so that's 11th and 10th frets there. And then we're going to switch over to our index finger, barring the 9th fret of the G and B there. And we're then going to go back to our riff with the turnaround. This time, when we do the turnaround, we can play that 5th fret of the D more on the beat instead of pushing the rhythm. And then we can start it over again for our second verse. And then pushing this time. And then going into the pre-chorus there. So to break it down, we're going to be playing an A major, as you can see. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop the second fret of the G, we're going to drop it down to the first fret, making it into an A major 7, and we're just going to switch between the two, keeping the strumming nice and consistent. And after we do that a few times round, we're going to switch over to an E major. And for this, I quite like to accent the uh, drum stabs. And then we're going to go back from the A to A major 7 again a few times round, then back to the E for a second time. We'll do 
that a little bit longer and then we're going to switch over to an F sharp minor and you can see there I'm doing the kind of similar rhythm and for this sometimes I like to switch out from doing the full chord to letting the B and E strings open let them ring out there you don't have to do that that's just something I like to add in We're then going to switch over to B7. And then back into the main riff. It's now time to check out the guitar solo or instrumental and it just sounds like this. We're going to start the solo by doing a bend at the 11th fret of the G. We're going to bend it up, play it bent again bring it down, play it unbent, and then land at the ninth fret of the G. We're then quickly going to do a slide from the 11th fret of the G up to the 13th, then middle finger coming over to the 12th fret of the B, 14th fret, back to 12, then back over to the G, we're going to go 13, back to 11, and then land back there at the ninth fret. Well, they're going to do our double stops, which should sound fairly familiar. Sliding in there at the 12th and 13th frets. Taking it down two frets to the 11th and 10th. Then barring the 9th fret, the G and B. And then hammering back on the last shape, which is our 10th and 11th fret there. And then back to our 9th fret. And to finish the solo off, we're going to do a bend back at the 11th fret there. We're going to bend it up and then play it and bring it back down. And then we're going to pull off to the 9th fret. And then do another couple of pull offs to the 11th fret back to the 9th. And then do the same thing but with our sort of double stops. We're now going to check out the lead guitar in verse number two, and it just sounds like this. To start 
this, we're going to be at the 11th fret of the G. We're going to bend it up and bring it back down. And then we're going to go from the 9th fret of the G, and we're going to do a hammer on to the 11th and then pull off back to the 9th. We're then going to do our double stops that we've already played. We're then going to go to the 9th fret of the D. We're going to hammer on to the 11th. We're then going to go 9th fret of the G, back to the 11th of the D. And then we're going to go 9th fret of the G to 11, and we're going to bend it up. Play it bent, bring it down, and then do a couple of pull-offs to the 9th fret there. And then we're going to do a slide from the 11th fret of the G up to 13, 12th fret of the B, 14, back to 12. We're now going to be at the 12th fret of the B, and we're going to play that twice, and a hammer on on the second time to the 14th fret, and then play the 12th fret of the E. And then we're going to play that a second time. And when we do that, we're going to hammer on and pull off the 14th fret of the E. We're then going to play the 12th fret of the E another two times. Again, hammering on and pulling off that 14th fret. And then we're going to play this. And that's going to be 12th fret of the B, hammering on to the 14th fret, 12th fret of the E. And then again, hammering on to the 12th fret to the 14 on the B, but then going back to the 12th fret of the B the second time. And to finish off, we're going to play this. And to play this, we're going to start by having the note already bent and then playing it and bringing it down. And then we're going to pull off twice to the 9th fret of the G. Then we're going to slide up 11 to 13. And then go back down 11 to 9. And then we're just going to go 11 to 9, 11 to 9. Okay, so that's been my tutorial on She's Electric by Oasis. I really hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to leave you now with the backing track.